Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to do partial die cutting. So you can use any dies that you have. It's a great technique and it's a really fun way to just get a bit more from your dies. Now I actually first done this during a Facebook Live and I will link that full live video below in the description box. So if you do want to just have a look, you know, see it in more detail and over a longer period I guess then do check out that video but I've condensed it down for today's and I'm actually going to show you how I've made this one here which is my Father's Day card. So I just wanted to bring in these two here because they're you know both different but this is using flowers as your partial die cut so all I've cut here is just the tops of these three poncettias they're actually cut into the card so it gives you a really nice effect and these will fit into a six by six envelope but I'll talk you through and you can use any size you know that you want and this one's a Christmas card so this is actually for my nan she loves red she loves sparkle she's going to adore this card and then this one here is, is kind of I guess this one's going to be similar that I show you in a moment I love these dies and I'll show you those as well but this one's just using die cuts very similar to this I guess but just in a real bold way and um, I love these dies here as well which are by Bright Rosa and then this is a very similar again style using the same happy but this is all using stamps and coloring and inking so it's just I want to kind of show you the different ways so that you should have something in your stash to recreate something similar so whether you're a stamper and you have a lot of stamped images you can create this style or if you just have a lot of dies then you'll be able to do something like this as well so they're very easy to do you can make them as difficult as you want or as easy as you want so let me show you how to make these fun cards Okay, so when my card folds flat, I want it to fit into a 6x6 six six envelope. I think the 6x6 six six size is going to work well with the die, the sentiment here, and also the images that I'm going to be using. So these are the creative stamps. I'll link everything below, and um, you can see they're creative. And it's the happy. I really like it. So I'm going to use the, the shadow, the outer frame, to actually have as the partial die cut and the piece that will lift up. And then I'm going to die cut this one again in possibly a green, so I think it's going to work quite well with the images here, or maybe the blue, and that will be stuck over the top once we get to that bit. So I'm going to pop that to one side. So what I've got here is, this is just a piece of um, 6 by 12 It doesn't have to be 12 in length. Um, it will actually, you could probably even drop down. It Well, you'll see what I mean in a minute, because it depends on what you have partially die cut, really. But... Um, what I'm going to do is, I've got my T-square ruler here, so what I've done is I've just marked the, just, well, you want to create the area of the size that your card will be when folded. So I've just marked with a pencil here six inches. So if you're doing a five by seven and it's in landscape, then you will mark at five inches here if it's a five by seven. But because I'm doing six by six, I've marked it six and just put a light pencil mark because you will rub that out. So basically, this is now the area that you can work in. Okay, so this is my die cut. This needs to, you know, line up with this line here. If you go over, then you're going to need a bigger envelope. That's all that, you know, that's the worst thing that's going to happen. So you want to try and stay within that area. So, you know, whether it's a four by six card, you know, then you will just need to make sure you just do that pencil there as a guide. And I think it's really helpful. So I now to need to decide how much of this I actually want to have partially die cut because you you know you want to make sure that you've got something attached to this piece but you know I want quite a lot of this to be cut similar to the card that I showed you at the beginning so I'm just grabbing some of my tape here and you can see also if you bring in if you have a die like this and you can see how the happy or the word if it, if that's what you're having you might have a shape here you know the flowers like I showed you but I quite like that I think I'm going to know I think I'm going to go straight actually so I'm going to go about there and then I'm just going to pop I'm just going to take a little bit of the stickiness off of that so just popped it on my jeans there and just stick that one just there okay so I've just laid it on my plate there now anything you have between your cutting plates is going to cut so I want to cut all of this and just have the bottom part here attached so I'm gonna lay my top plate in here but I'll take the plate off just so you can see really because it's not it shouldn't leave if I just pop that underneath I have the copy paper so it doesn't leave any markings on my paper so now I'm going to lay this down about there so none of this will cut 
I'll just bring it in a little bit further there. None of that will cut, so that's going to keep it attached to this part here, but everything above it will cut. So I'm just going to run that through. So that will work with any dies, anything you use, whatever is between the plates will cut. So now run that through, and rub that out in a minute. Now what we want to do is we want to run, I'm actually going to cut that away with a cutting knife in a minute, but we want to now do a score line partially through this. Now you can use a scoreboard if you want. In fact, I think I will use the scoreboard. I'm going to bring in this one here and I'm just going to find a marker. So for me here, the four and a quarter will line up perfectly with the bottoms here. So I'm just going to score just to the start of where I've cut that. I'm going to remove that, so then I'm just going to carry on scoring just here. Like so. Okay, and then using my cutting knife, I'm going to remove that tiny piece there because it's, you know, it's not going to make it's probably better removing it than keeping it in, like so. And now all I need to do is just fold those score lines there. And then with my trimmer, this is why the length, it didn't really matter, because now I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to line it up with the bottom there. So it's four and a quarter in the end. So you would have, for this one, I would have used, it would have been a piece of eight and a half. So now I'm just going to trim that down. And now we have our partially die cut card, like so. Now you do have this here, you'll get this with any partial die cut, no matter whether they're specially made, um, die, you know, partially die cut dies, you will always have this. So if you want to cover that, you can. But I'm actually going to leave this, I've still got plenty of room there to be able to stamp and write my message, so I'm going to keep it just as it is. Now this is ready for me to ink up, to decorate, to add my happy and to add all my lovely little stamped images. So while I'm just going to plan out what I'm going to do, I'm just going to link in a short video of me colouring these really cute images. So I'm just going to do a little bit of inking on the background and then I'm just going to stick everything down. So what I want to do is just create some kind of little happy heels. <laughs> I'm sure that's what Bob would call them. So some happy heels, rolling heels. So I've just got some copy paper here and I'm just going to do something like that. Maybe make that a little bit smoother. Obviously if you've got stencils for this, but I just want to show you an easy way that you can create hills. Keep this piece as well, because that's always handy if you want to use that. I'm going to cut off the excess here, but you could do more curves there as well. But I just, what I'm going to do is just do something like that, and then I can flip it, and I could do that, and you can turn it upside down then to kind of, you know, or you can use this piece here to then do the, the ground below here. So I think actually... Yeah, no, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to lay this down first. So I'm going to have green up here and then I'm going to have the happy with the green behind. These are my favourite, well, the green is my favourite colour for whenever I'm doing, you know, the grass and the sky and things like that. So I'm not going to do any sky on this one because I've got that lovely happy, you know, that's up where the sky would be. So I'm just going to keep this all green and then I think these are going to sit really nicely with it. So I'm going to probably come in, um, let's start a little bit higher here. 
take the excess off on the copy paper and then I'm just going to start flicking off. So I'm just going to go and cover all of this background now. Now I'm going to start building everything on top. So I've got my happy. I've also just found some other stamps. So I've got Wishing You A, which was part of a Dovecraft stamp, but I've just stamped just the Wishing You A because underneath it said a day of happiness. So just ways to pull out, you know, maybe just certain words from a stamp. So Wishing You A Happy Father's Day will be below. And then I'm going to arrange now this lovely little scene with the trees below. Okay, so there is my finished card. I'm so pleased with how this one's come together. I finished it off with some glossy accents which are still drying. So you can see just when it catches the light, can you see that? And it just looks like that painting is wet. And I've put a little bit above all on all of the little paint pots there and the thinner and then on the end of the paintbrush and on the blobs of paint there as well and also on all of the eyes and once that dries it will be completely clear so you'll really see that image better as well. I just love everything about it, I love the little squirrel there and then I've popped a little bit of acetate on that one just so it floats. It may fit in the 6x6, I may now have to make a slightly bigger envelope, don't mind at all and I think I might just ink just a little bit darker, just literally just kissing the bottom there just to really make that lift a bit more but I'm again it was a joy to to color and to create and then just bringing these ones again so you can see there creating a very different style you know no coloring on this one it's just all die cuts and, and then this one is using your flowers as your partial die cut and then I've just used the happy Christmas there as well so hopefully that's inspired you giving you some inspiration on how you can use your dies the full Facebook live will be linked below but as always thank you for watching if you click on one of these boxes here there will be the partial die cut which is a hoppy Easter card I believe so that will pop up and I will also link something else that is you know going to be similar and that you might be interested in and also just click Click on my face that you'll see pop up there as well. That will mean you will subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you click the bell, you'll get notifications when I upload another video. So thanks for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye.